Fellas, first, let me say, God bless you for being the first band <laughs> to ever support this show so long ago. We have been working on this interview for what seems like years. We finally got you, and I believe we got you guys here because uh, you're working on some new stuff, and you're all together working on something. Can you, first, can you, uh, can you, um, Please properly introduce yourself. Let us know what each of you guys do in the band. Plug or promote anything you like, and then uh, talk about why you're all hanging out right now and what you're working on. Right on. Guy Smith, guitars and uh, clean vocals. Uh, I'm Thomas Hogue. I'm the uh, guitarist. I'm Chris. I'm the drummer. I'm Josh. I'm the lead or front man, per se. <laughs> per se. <laughs> the screamer. Where, where are you guys at right now? We're actually what? in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like city, no, city, city, state wise. Oh, uh, New Berlin, Wisconsin. So probably so Packers New fans. Yep. Oh, that's that's a bummer. This guys, it was fun. We'll, we'll catch you next time. It was fun. No, I'm just playing. I'm I'm a Vi I'm a Vikings fan, so that's why I'm just giving you giving you. Shit. But uh, why are you guys all hanging out? I know you're normally. Oh, don't even show me that. Don't even show me that. He whipped out. <laughs> look, look, I got you right here. Boom. What yeah, you know? I, there we go. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you guys are all, you're normally working at this time. That's why we've never been able to set this up. But why are you guys all hanging out right now? What are you working on? Yeah, so we're actually recording some uh, some new songs. So in the past, we'd always like take off and, and go to a studio for a week. But this time to save money, we were thinking, let's try tracking it ourselves. But we're going to kind of do the same setup where we take off and just get it all done in that week. So uh, exciting and yeah. trying at the same time, making sure we're tracking all this right since we're tracking ourselves for the first time. So it's been a, a cool uh, learning experience so far. When the when the tracking is done, do you do you send it off to somebody else, or do you guys handle all the mixing and stuff as well? So we're still going to send it out uh, for mixing. Who who do you have in mind yeah. for for that? Is it somebody you've worked with before, or just just a particular person that you want to work with? Yeah. So actually, his name is uh, Andy Karpovic. And he actually mixed uh, Mistakes of Creation and um, Cold Blooded. Cold, Cold Blooded. Blooded. Actually, pretty much everything we've released since Cold Blooded, yeah. including Cold Blooded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, he's phenomenal. We're going to be sending him for sending him some uh, some tracks, and he's going to mix it up, and it's going to be it's going to be real nice. Yeah, we're excited about the new stuff. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Last Hell time yeah. we drove 19 hours. Go work with him. In Florida, yeah, it was so. a 19 hour drive. Nice time. So. But well worth it. That's well worth it for sure. Well, yeah. Um, Chad wants to know what seven cities are dead. <laughs> Basically, why did you guys come up with that band name? What does it mean to you? So, uh, originally, uh, we went through a, to be honest, a shit ton of names. We were like, well, what way do we want to go with this? Is it more of a meaning? Is it just sound badass? Those kind of things. And uh, Thomas actually came across Seven Cities Dead in a poem, I believe, or like on Google looking through something. And uh, we actually were thinking it's kind of like a tie-in to uh, uh, Dante's Inferno. Okay. So like, you, you know, he, when he dies, he's got to go and face the sins. There's like a, a terrace or city of every single sin. And you got to like go through them all to, you know, ascend into heaven. And uh, we thought the story's badass. And like a lot of our music, we talk about like getting past your shortcomings and not repeating them. So... So that's where we came up with the uh, the seven cities dead and meaning. It makes a lot of sense when you when you explain it like that. Now, then I now that I know because we're always like, well, I wonder what seven they were they were referring to. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> mistakes of creations like, always been one of my favorites from you guys. Uh, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I wanted to start off with this one because I feel like it's one of the like kind of older ones and it doesn't have a video, but I feel like it's a good example of of bam, this is seven cities dead and this is kind of like a taste of what you're gonna get. So. One mistakes of, of creation hell yeah if you just slaps you right in the mouth dude it's so good uh <laughs> fellas who this is a weed show so i gotta ask one time smoke weed every day who could smoke the most in the band <laughs> yeah there you go what's up man come on down come hang out with me anytime you want you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we're gonna have to put a little cover up the uh, right in that spot if you if you come over. <laughs> what do you what do you prefer, indica or sativa? Just a general question for for anybody. Um, I like to use them for kind of whatever I need them for. If I'm wanting to kind of relax and hang out, I'm definitely into the indica and then the sativa. If I'm out and about, I'm indica kind of... is by far the best. He likes I'll, he I'll, likes indica. Yeah, I'll <laughs> say straight up, straight up, indica is the best. It's best for chilling. It's best for playing video games. It's best for hanging out with your lady. It's best for everything. Man. <laughs> Speaking of video Sorry, games, man. what is the best video game ever made? God of War. Diablo, oh, dang, he didn't Diablo think twice. Two. He didn't think yeah. twice. No. I didn't know I didn't this know, about you. <laughs> Guy, what's what's the best game? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna go a little bit old school than everyone else is going. I'm gonna go Final Fantasy VIII, and believe it or not, eight, not seven. Wow, eight. Good call. Final Fantasy is probably my favorite franchise of games, I would say. Um, except for Tactics. I hated Tactics. But uh, seven and... The Junkening of Magic, man, was the coolest part of that whole thing. There's some good ones. I have not played the seven remake, because I'm an Xbox guy. But I have not played the seven remake, but uh, it's on my list to play. Uh, Courage Under Fire is going to be the next one. I feel like when I play this for people, there's always the kill switch engage comparison. Does that piss you guys off, or do you find that to be like a compliment if if people say, "Oh, you guys kind of sound like Kill Switch"? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. if anyone wants to reference to Kill Switch Engage, which is one of my favorite bands growing up, you know, it really got me into like metalcore. They're one of the first ones for me. So to be compared to that from the roots of the genre that we're in, that's that's high praise if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I would agree. I, I would. Say, I think it's a compliment. Shout out to Kill Switch. <laughs> but Kill Switch better look out. Give me a Regarding regarding this particular track, is this one that you guys also tracked yourself and then sent somewhere else, or was this co one that was completely done from scratch at uh, with a different producer? This one we went down to Florida for, and uh, this is our first time ever professionally tracking at a professional studio. So this is a really cool learning and growing and scary for us at first. We're like, oh, am I going to mess this up? Am I going to look like I can't play? You know, stuff like that. So this is a really cool experience for this one. Hell yeah. And this video. The first time I saw it, I thought for sure this guy, well, like, I, and then, like, when you see him a couple of times, I was like, oh, it's not him. But do you guys watch the show Dave? Have you ever seen the show Dave? It's, I don't, I don't it's, uh, what is that rapper's name that has the Little Dicky. It's the Little Dicky TV show. I didn't even know he had one. <laughs> Dude, it's the best. You guys got to check it out. It's hilarious. But anyway, his manager looks like it's a doppelganger times a thousand of this guy right here. And I was like, did they get the dude from Dave to be the actor? So let's go back to let's go back to high school days. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming. Let's OK, just go back to when when you guys were not in any band whatsoever, because we were all mostly in a high school band, blah, blah, blah. But what are, what are you jamming in the car? Uh, b before you pick up the guitar, before you pick up the drums, before you pick up the microphone, like what was getting you hype? What CD that was always on repeat uh, when you guys were riding around in the car back in the day? Tool Lateralis for me. Tool Lateralis? Hell yeah. yeah. Good call. Pardon my English. <laughs> I've tripped acid to, to that album before and it was a blur. <laughs> it was a blur, but it was a fun time. <laughs> Anyway, another story for another day. What, what about the rest of you guys? Mine was Appeal to Reason by Rise Against. That was my jam. Oh, yeah. Actually, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. Good album. Shadows Are Security, As I Lay Dying. Listen to the shit out of that album. Hell yeah. For some reason, I, c I couldn't really get into Azalea Dying as much as everybody else. I mean, I've definitely seen them live, and they put on a hell of a show. Um, I don't know what it was. They just weren't my cup of tea, but I liked all the other albums you guys mentioned. It was the Rise Against one. Was that the one that had the rooftop song? No, that's on um, uh, The Suffer and the Witness. Okay, okay. That, that album was probably my favorite from them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. That's a real good one. Who is Rob Ellis? Oh, he's in he's in Ashes of Alexis, a local deathcore band that we're friends with, and he's a phenomenal vocalist, awesome dude. We really like uh, jamming with those dudes, so we came up with the idea of like let's feature let's feature him on a song, and that's how we ended up uh, in the video and featuring there. Would you guys ever consider 
going outside the box one time and having like like a DJ or or like a MC or something as as a feature. A violinist? Actually, yeah, a violinist. We have a song coming up that we would like think would be really cool to get a violinist. What? Thing. Dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> Like a metal violinist or like a, tra a traditional violinist to, and then you kind of work around it. I guess actually Man, we're kind of open to that. Like either yeah. way, I'd I say. guess we might as well just put it out there. We want to get Lindsey Sterling on it. Yeah. This is what we're hoping but, for. But uh, <laughs> we have never, we haven't reached out to her. We have no idea. Even, even know how to reach out to her. <laughs> we have no idea if she'll do it. But you know, hey. Lindsay Sterling, shout out to you. If you want to do it, let us. I'm sure if you if you talk numbers, <laughs> if you talk numbers, people will listen. I think. But uh, what does what does the perfect disease mean to you from a lyrical perspective? Uh, it kind of, I think that some of us in the band have like different meanings to a lot of the songs too, like and how, and what it represents to them. For me, it's kind of the decay of society and the way that like, there's no people just don't have their own principles and stick to them. It's just so much, eh out there it's hard to explain but i like just to use dark metaphors so <laughs> that helps uh, for me for me for that song in particular it was like uh kind of like a, a double entendre and like rap where there's like multiple meanings to the same thing so the way that i looked at it is like the disease of righteousness you know being perfect and only your way of thinking is is perfect but also like the double meaning of like we're all guilty we're all guilty of that to some degree. So it's like the perfect disease. Righteousness is the perfect disease because it infects everybody. So it's hundred percent infection where we're all guilty of it to a degree. You know that what I'm the way that I always thought. You know what I'm finding out through this interview is you guys know your history. Not only are you big fans of God of War, which there's a lot of Greek mythology involved, the band name <laughs> is very much involved in like the seven deadly sins. There's a lot of meaning and stuff more than meets the eye. Like I think that's awesome. There's a lot of deep meaning going on in the background. That's really, really cool. Let's play the perfect disease. We'll say this, with each single coming out, having known you guys for quite a while now, I mean, never actually talking to you, but like the music, each one is sharper, more nasty, and the clean vocals are even better. Each release is better, dude. Shout out to you guys, man. I mean, for real. I've been a fan for a while, but Thanks each one just much. blows me out of the water, man. I can't, I can't wait for the the new stuff, dude. Do we have a a tentative timetable on? We're probably gonna finish tracking around this time, and then by the time the mixes and masters come back, maybe December, we'll we'll be dropping something. Uh, do we have a tentative timetable? We actually, uh, cause we released the perfect disease, and then we just released um, make it through the night. Uh, we actually already have another video and song that's that's new going to be coming out. Uh, we don't have an exacting date on that, but probably like two or three months. Yeah, yeah. And we're kind of the new thing we're trying to do is basically release something every three months at least. So that's what we're well done doing right now. We have songs, two songs basically already done, so that'll be coming out on those on those uh, intervals, and then yeah, we're gonna try to get these new ones we're working on right now to come out after that. Excellent. 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 Uh, do you get who do you guys, do you guys videos do we, and do you uh, use? I'm sorry. What'd you say? We got a lot of good stuff coming your way, man. A lot of new stuff coming. Excellent. Uh, do you guys use the same person for all your videos, as far as the direction, or do you do you jump around as far as who's shooting the videos? We we jump around. Um, the, the first two were Eddie Cran. He's an extremely talented, dude, and uh. We, we, with uh, our next upcoming video, we use somebody different, which was Nick Frollo. Just make sure I'm saying the name right. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you so meet Nick? How'd you meet Nick? Uh, basically online. Yeah, kind of just looking through, seeing music videos kind of come up and be like, oh, that was a cool one. Who did that? Just kind of seeing some names and basically just reached out. I actually saw him in particular on an Archers video. They're another Wisconsin band. Awesome band. Yeah. Really Is that Archers? There. Archers? Yeah. Oh, awesome. they were in they were in a tournament of ours recently, I believe. That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. Archers, yeah. Super talented. Uh are you guys down to review some bands with us and or do some trivia? Yes. We're down for I'm that. Down. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
course. The songs that we're going to be reviewing, most of them I've never heard before. It could be any genre from anywhere in the entire world. But the trivia, I need your help. Let's say right now you have to go from Wisconsin all the way down to California. And you guys can only pick one franchise or TV series or something like that. Like a movie uh, like the Friday the 13th or Harry Potter's or Simpsons. Like what is one thing that you guys know the most about trivia wise? Because I'm going to try and stump you on that. I'm a pretty big movie and TV show nut. Yeah, you're, you're I'll, I'll give you a minute to think about it. I'll give you a minute to discuss. Let, let's play. Uh, let's play this band right here, and let me know what you think of Shockwave. So this one's actually a supporter of ours. Also, it kind of has like a Angels and Airwaves synthwave kind of vibe. <laughs> we were just saying that. We were totally saying that exact same thing. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Really Angels and Airwaves ish. It sounds so fan, much like Tom fan. for sure. Uh, Good call, uh, fellas. What what is the what is the uh, the trivia that he decided on? If uh, you haven't picked, I can stall Marvel. longer. It's no big deal. Marvel. What is it? Marvel. Marvel. Marvel movies, Marvel comics, all of the above classifies. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. 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 Guys, if you're feeling Seven Cities Dead music, by the way, please, 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 please hit that follow button on Spotify. Show them some love. Uh, we'll, we'll play another song in just a second. Let me cue up one more while I look up some trivia. Joe wants us to hear Cardboard Ringo. Hell yeah. I like the name. Yeah, I like the name. <laughs> Cardboard Ringo with I Get High. All right, boys, we're going all the way back to the X-Men comic book days. Here we go. In the comic books, Jean Grey and Scott Summers get married. As soon as they get married, an X-Men villain that I don't believe has been in any X-Men movie, but that that may, I may be incorrect, but I don't think he's in any X-Men movie, kidnaps Jean Grey and Scott Summers, a.k.a. Cyclops. Who captures and kidnaps Jean Grey and Cyclops right after they were married? Which, which villain? X-Men. Go for it. Kingpin's DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I got you. You can, you guys can each guess. It's okay. You don't have to guess as a as a unit. You can get each individually guess. Apocalypse. I don't know, man. Just full Apocalypse is not correct. Ah. And I think he's in one of the X-Men movies. That was my other hint. I don't think this character is in any X-Men movie that I can recall. But uh, Black Adam is not right. Deadpool is not right. I'm seeing what chat says. Uh, we're going to play Convictions Convictions next. I'll give them a, a little bit longer. But officially, we have stopped. Seven Cities Dead. <laughs> sick. Convictions is pretty dope. What do you guys think of that? It was sick. I like that a we lot. were digging that a lot. Yeah, let's let's put like them that. in. The answer, by the way, was sinister. That's the answer. Do you remember? Do you remember sinister from the comics? Yeah, yeah. Now that you give us the answer, we totally knew it. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We will give you a redemption question. A redemption question right now. Here we go. One more time. We're gonna try. This character is not in the Avenger films but was considered an Avenger in all of the comics. Which character is not in the movies? Which Avenger is in the comics, but not in the movies? I only know the movies. I only know the movies. I think we got him again, chat. Wait. Yeah, you got oh, it. We got him. Our answer, our answer is. <laughs> we'll see if anybody else can get it. Uh, fellas, what's another song that we have to hear of yours right now? Anything in your catalog? Make it through the night. Yes. Yeah, that's the new one. It just released. You got it. Make it through the night. Let's see if Chad can get that uh, trivia question. I actually knew this answer. Oh yeah, it's solid, boys. It's it's absolutely solid. By the way, the answer was the wasp. The Wasp is in the comics. 
but not in the movies. Ant Man's a villain. Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, but not the not in the. Up. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Mother. Because that's how I was thinking that. Sounds like. We'll give you the spin. You're right. You're right. I, I guess I guess the question is referring to the Avengers movie that I'm looking at, but I'll we'll get, we'll throw you a bone. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. On that one. I, I I have to do a bong toke. You're welcome too if you'd like as well. What is the what is the best musical advice someone has ever given you guys that you were like, holy, I should do that. This I sh I can't believe other local bands don't know or do this. What's a really good advice tip you would give? Spending money on promoting your stuff, you can reach audiences without having to travel somewhere to to uh, have them learn who you are. Because that's one of the hardest things is getting out there as a band. You know, yeah, you might be known in your local pond, but let me let me let me just going off your answer. I I think a lot of people that that may be watching like don't know where to start. Where do they put the money into? Like, what did you guys do? to create buzz. I know you've done stuff with space on travel. Like what's some other things that you've done to generate a little buzz that doesn't necessarily break the bank? Like probably Facebook ads is probably like the biggest thing. And uh, uh play like uh playlists too. Yeah. Uh, like sure anytime that. someone's like, I'm building this playlist, you know, I play close attention to a lot of the metalcore pages since we're a metalcore band and try and get on those. Yeah. Get as many of those as possible. Even actually works like a PR company like for Courage Under Fire, they kind of helped pitch us to a bunch of like, kind of like magazines and also like playlists on Spotify. So it's okay to it's okay to ask for help and say, hey man, I need some help. What what can I do here? Boom really? boom. Because I think a lot of bands are afraid to ask for help. They're they're just like, you know what? If the music's good enough, we'll just get signed and we'll be famous and rich. Blah blah blah. But it's not doesn't really work like that anymore. Like you got to really put in the hustle. And the the promotions yeah. and and the shows and the hard work to for it to all pay off. And by doing that, you're also showing any possible people who might want to sign you that you're already doing that and that you're already committed to what you're doing. You know, because I think that's one of their biggest questions too. It's like, is this band really committed to take the next step? So you got to kind of act bigger, do more than than where you're at. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We basically kind of figured it out all along the way because I feel like our first release we just put it out and then we realized nothing happened. <laughs> all right, we gotta do something else. And then you know we just kind of keep piecing together, and keep going a little bit as we go. Well, this is not gonna be fun. The uh, the hot jam starburst I have to do here in a second. Um, some of the some of the wheel is like torture stuff. If I don't know if you guys know, but there's all kinds of food items right here and hot sauces and weird stuff that I have to eat if it lands on that and just did. Yeah. But um, oh, what was I? I was gonna. Oh yeah. Um, uh, give me, give me your worst. While I pre prepare this, give me your worst gig story ever. Like you guys, you guys are getting ready to play. You're all excited, and then everything goes wrong. It happens to everyone. What is your worst gig story? And that, that's you, man. I don't even know how to go there. Oh, uh, that was uh. No. No, I agree. No. Okay. I think one of the worst ones. I probably as a collective, Chris wasn't there for it, but we we had horrible sound. Not not to blame anybody on it, but the sound for especially the guitar players was all just me screaming, and they couldn't hear them, each other themselves. Our drummer at the time had no idea what was going on because all he could hear was me screaming. It was pretty the, rough. The sound guy didn't understand his own equipment, basically. So yeah. when we were like, he just, hey, can I he just went like this. He's pushed every fader up, and he's like, "You guys are good, go." Are putting in vocals? So we're asking for the guitar to go up, and I don't know if you've seen this guy. This guy's a big motherfucker, and he's loud as hell. So cranking him was like insane, and all I could hear the entire time was just straight screaming, and I had no idea where we were at any point of the song. It's the only time I was ever glad to get off stage. Yeah, Dang. I was ever like, "I'm glad this is over." When it was over, was everyone like, yeah, you guys were awesome, blah, blah, blah. Like, did, did you still sell merch? And they came up to you guys, you guys kicked ass, man, blah, blah. And you just didn't say anything the whole time. You're like, man, this is the worst show we ever played. Like, we're perfect. Well, <laughs> members coming up, sorry, we heard what you were asking. We heard what happened. Sorry you went through that. <laughs> it was more of like what it was like. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the other way, though, too. Like, oh, that was really rough. But then, like, people still come up. It's like, yeah, that was awesome. So it's like sometimes it's like a mixed bag with that. 
Yeah, we're like, oh, I didn't play everything perfectly. And someone comes up like, dude, you guys played perfectly. And we're like, yes. Yes, we did. Everything there. Thank you for realizing <laughs> it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let me cue up a random mother song real quick while I, I don't have the hot jam next to me. So I have some mango habanero hot sauce. And I'm going to throw it on an Oreo here in a second. And it's going to be nasty. <laughs> Dark Divine is up next. It's called Halloween Town. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be some deathcore. This is pretty good. Dark Divine, Halloween Town. Absolutely sick. Yeah. We thought very motionless and white. I really fucking like that. Yeah, motionless and white's one of my favorite bands too. So those guys, those guys are badass. Damn. What do you think of the new motionless song? The the hyper. What is it? Back I actually haven't heard it yet. Oh, I have. It's you, dude, it has a crazy dope, a, uh, a blah, a crazy blah in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude, they switch up that rhythm, like right in the intro, man. When it first hit me, I shit my pants. Exactly. Literally. 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 <laughs> I can attest. Like, yeah, dude, shit. the rest of their albums. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good mix yeah, of songs. Yeah. It's like it's like somewhere I over here. here. I like it. Somebody should we should we should trigger. We have we have actually different. I have 172 buttons at my fingertips at all times for like graphics and sounds and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I have what I call a level four blah. If you guys are fans of blahs as they referred to, I have comprised my 10 to 12 favorites. Here we go. It's not bad, right? This is my this is my favorite oh, blow. My <laughs> they get you hype instantly. It's an instant hype moment right there. Boys, I think we got time for for one more song. Any song in your catalog. I know we played the new one, but let's go back to like a little bit of an older one. What do you say about something off of Siren Songs? Okay. What would you like us to play off Siren Songs? We're gonna go Rising Tide. Rise and Tide heard. Here we go. Now, is this song still in the set, or is it kind of odd here in like an oldie that you haven't heard in a while? It's an oldie we haven't heard in a while. Since going to Cold Blooded and some of our new stuff, we've been playing that a lot more consistently. Yeah. There's a really cool chat part. In the brief, so. Yeah. Always, uh, always this is one of our. Oh, like a, like a gang vocal, a big gang vocal. Yeah, but like get everyone involved, kind of kind of moment, which are always fun. Dude, gang so we vocals are the best. About- Gang vocals are the best because it's it's like the best way to get like all your friends and family that are, would never ever normally go anywhere near a microphone. They're scared of microphones, and you're like, "It's cool. We're all doing it at the same time." And they're like, "Okay, okay, I'll, you guys are all doing it at the same time." Well, sh- you know, I'll do it. I can definitely hear the production difference. Like when the hook comes in here, I I can still hear everything, but it's not as clear and crispy as like the brand new stuff. The brand new stuff like pierces through every little thing is where. It's supposed to be like in the mix perfectly. So now that we know what we're doing a lot more, we went back and listened to the dry signal of this that we used to track it, and we're like, "Oh my god, we released this!" <laughs> hey yo, we what the, the fuck? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> one was like completely self done, like mixing everything. So. Yeah, mixing everything. We just tried our hands. We didn't really have any idea what we were doing. <laughs> whatsoever. We've all been there. We've all been there. Uh, I've I've got some rough rough mixes in my day too for sure. They're still rough, but uh, man, this is a lot of fun, guys. I appreciate you so much. Not only for the fact that you're literally the first band to ever become a supporter of this page and still are to this day, which is just absolutely a godsend. For real, thank you guys. I appreciate it. But um, I I believe in you guys. Like, there's a lot of bands that we have on the show that are cool. That's all I'm gonna say. But I really do believe in you guys, man. I think I think 2022 is going to be your year. Um, I'm excited to hear the. You said the new video is is done. It's just not released yet for for the single that yeah. we played. When is that coming out again? Yep. I'm sorry. We're up about three months ish. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. it's like a so timed release for other reasons, for other stuff. Yeah. 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 Cool. Hell yeah. Well, boys, this this was a lot of fun, it's, man. Uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get on your blob. He wants to be on your blah buttons one of these days. Oh, you want to be a blah button? <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so I'll... I, I, I have... My my stream decks that I use, I can actually, like, arrow over and create, like, another 32 blanks of spots. It's hard to show you, but um, I could... Uh, I guess it's kind of a cool idea. Maybe I could have guests drop their own blahs and we make them buttons. But yeah, dude, if you're down, just just cut one, cut one, and email it to me. I'll 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 send my email to Guy, and then uh, we'll hook it up, dude. That'd be awesome. Hell yes. Uh, yeah. I also want to earn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, there it is. Then I was I'll say I know you got a baby, dude. You got a baby coming soon, so I want to say congrats ahead of that. Hell yeah, man! Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's a a scheduled C-section on Friday morning. So it's uh, we have like pre pre surgery stuff Thursday and then tomorrow we're actually uh, we're hosting a show with the whiskey a go go tomorrow which is absolutely crazy uh, that's like my favorite venue in the entire state of California so it's just wild that we're we're throwing a party there tomorrow they probably won't invite us back but <laughs> um, but fellas uh, thank you for that I appreciate it his name's gonna be Jet and yeah he'll be here Friday and I'm excited it's baby number two and that's gonna be it we're done after that. <laughs> Congrats, man. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us on. It's been way overdue, and I hope it's not the last time, for real. Oh, we'll be back. For real, man. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Seven Cities Dead! Yeah, hell yeah! You guys are awesome. Oh. Really quick, special shout out to the uh, Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Enjoy the... <laughs> Enjoy the. I know you didn't like that. I'm sorry. Enjoy the rest of your day, boys. This was fun. I I genuinely had a blast, man. It's a lot of fun laughs and stuff. And we've been friends for a while, and you guys have been supporting for a long time. So please, 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 don't be strangers. You're welcome back anytime. And uh, I'm excited about the new music. And uh, I think something big is gonna happen at some point in this year. And we're just gonna go ahead and say bye bye. Way back. She. There they go. Later. There they go. Fellas, enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun tracking, and uh, cheers, man. This is a lot of fun. Thank you.